Hello, this is Pastor Jim Kibler. I want to talk to you today about Hank Hennegraaff, the Bible Answer Man, as he calls himself, the Word of Faith Criticizer. Did you know that the Apostle Paul said in Romans chapter 10 that he preached the Word of Faith? Did you know that Jesus said in John 10.10, 10, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly? Hank criticizes Word of Faith preachers, <clears throat> especially for their lifestyle. I've never heard him criticize Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, David, or Solomon for their lifestyle. How about Solomon, the richest man who ever lived, the man with the most wisdom? Had gold coming in on ships. What kind of a lifestyle is that? Let me tell you what kind of a lifestyle that is. That's the lifestyle God wanted him to live. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. He is talking about an overflow, more than enough lifestyle. Hank criticizes people like Joyce Meyer for the way she lives. Did you know that Joyce Meyer lives the way God wants her to live? God wants her to have nice things. Are you going to criticize God because he walks on streets of gold? That he has pearls as gates? With diamonds and emeralds and rubies in heaven? Are you going to criticize God for his lifestyle? God wants us to live an abundant lifestyle. In Psalms chapter 35, it says God takes pleasure in our prosperity. It tells us in Psalms 112 that we shall increase more and more, us and our children. David said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. My cup runneth over. That's an abundant lifestyle. That's the word of faith. The word of faith message also includes miracles. Hank, are you seeing any miracles in your ministry? Are you seeing the Holy Spirit move in your ministry? We have had people in our group. We had a lady healed of pancreatic cancer. A lady healed of brain tumors. Tumors on her breast. We had a lady healed of a melanoma. They brought her to me. She had a melanoma on her leg. I prayed for her, spoke over her, told the devil to leave her. She went back to the doctor. It was gone. We had another lady just healed of colon rectal cancer. They were going to do surgery on her that would have changed her life. It's the word of faith message. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me. We witness for Jesus in power. In the power that Jesus gave us. Jesus said in Mark chapter 16 verse 17, Them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils. I've written a new book called The Blessing. It's available at Amazon. Hank, I would ask you to get that book and read it. It tells us how to quickly bring the blessing of God into our lives. God wants each and every person to be blessed. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law so that the blessing of Abraham can come on the Gentiles. With the blessing of Abraham comes abundance and healing and happiness and joy and love and peace. We don't seek riches. We seek the kingdom. We seek the blessing of God. Go to my website, increasenow.com. It's just full of free information in there. Everything in that website is free. All the messages in there are free. I'm a word of faith preacher. I'm a prosperity preacher. I preach healing. I preach what Jesus did. I preach what Jesus said to preach. I'm proud of it. I take the criticism. It doesn't bother me. I want God's people to be saved, healed, delivered, filled with the Holy Spirit, and blessed with the blessing of Abraham. And Hank, if you want to criticize me and Joyce Meyer and Kenneth Copeland and Benny Hinn, because that's what we want, go right ahead. But I will warn you this, be careful coming against God's anointed. The Bible tells us you shall not touch my anointed. Don't touch my anointed. These people are anointed of God. They're blessed of God. I will bless them who bless you and curse them who curse you. Be careful.